Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show Fishing Tips section. Just a little quickie. Do you know what? I used to have a lot of trouble getting my rod rest to line up because I fish with my rods very low down. I don't normally fish with bolt rigs, self hooking rigs, anything like that. I actually strike my fish old school. I have a little bobbin that rides up and I like to keep them very low. So rather than have the old fashioned rod rest just stuck in, you think I get one of those monopody sort of whatever those things are you know it's like a great big gantry of cradles and you put your rods on them well fine i've looked at them because they're not sort of that expensive if you look for some cheap ones on the internet but they don't slope the rods down at the angle i want them i want to be sitting just in a chair I don't do that bed chair business i just sit in a regular deck chair and as the bobbin goes up slides up i want to hit it whack right in one movement i want to reach down pick the rod up and hit it straight away i can't find what well, i just can't seem to find one of those and they call them, I don't even know what they call them because I never go in a tackle shop. All the, all the monopod things, you know, that they have all racks and they put all two or three rods on. It's like a complete setup, but it's fine. But they don't go down at the front, and they don't come up at the back enough for me. I know they go up and down, guys, I've realised that. They don't do it enough for me. But I have all sorts of trouble. Do you guys have this trouble as well? Here at the Totally Awesome Fishing Show, we don't like being beaten. 14 pounds to let you do it. Okay, so you've got the gist of what I mean about getting the rod rest, especially if you've got a pair of rods exactly balanced together. It's a nightmare. Well, it's not now. Because the smart thinking brain of Mr. P came up with this. So that any of you out there know what this is? Hmm, just have a think about it. Two pieces of tubular black metal. A nylon frame here. I'll turn it up this way, might give you a hint. Oh, a buzzer bar attachment. It looks awfully like it came off a suitcase. Yes, indeedy. And that's where I got the idea from, because it's got here two nylon lockers. So it locks there. I've crushed the ends obviously after hacksawing it off of the suitcase and I've crushed those ends in a vise you can use a hammer nice and flat I suppose in retrospect you could actually cut a little point with a hacksaw on there make it easier I've cut them flat and I've used it and it's fine but more important I can sink these into the ground this is my front buzzer bar attachment and then flip up these two here one two and this just like the suitcases it was designed for oh my god it slides up like this so I can then adjust up and down keep this fixed up and down tap it down where I want it and then lock it in position with these two nylon catches and it's nice and rigid is that clever or is that clever let's see an operation see if it really is as clever as I think it is and should be fully patented so what I've done I've got the thread on this center of the buzzer bar and I've drilled a hole through the top handle of the plastic suitcase handle there and I've screwed it in. Now I can unscrew that or I can glue it in whatever I want and then all I do is obviously I just put my buzzers, fix them straight into the normal buzzer bar holder if you can. There we go and they're the right space apart. There we go that one's on. On goes the second one. And probably in retrospect, I think cutting a point on both of those feet will make a difference. But it certainly gets it down low enough where I want it at the low angle to strike, and I'll show you. That's the other one on. You've got a little locking nut at the bottom of some of these buzzers that pinches it straight. Just say screwing the whole thing down. Oh, that's going to be loud. And then I'll just give you a guide. I'm going to spike it in the ground. There we go, so I want it in the ground, wiggle it in from side to side, and the top plate here gives you a good bit of leverage. And all I have to do is just loosen those fittings off at the side. I can slide it right down to whichever height I want. They're fixed at the right height that I want them, and then I can put my buzzer bars behind it, and I've got the whole setup pointing the rod so the tips are right in the water. All I have to do now is put my two back rod holders in, getting the same distance as the front ones, 
and screw that one up. And then, when I put my rod out, I can adjust it, bringing it, bringing it up, so like this, to the height I want for where I'm sitting, because I say I don't fish fixed. I'm striking my fish, and this way, set them both up, I just use these bobbin indicators like that, set myself up, and I'm ready to go. There's the other one. All set, and that's free at the front, but of course I've now got to thinking about the backrests. Why am I using two single ones? I know where there's another suitcase. And there we go guys, another suitcase. This one's even better. It's got a little button that you push. Whoopee, it slides out. I can put my buzzer bar on there and make myself, if I saw all this up, a backrest. Graham, where are you going with my suitcase?